Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today I would like to do the um, pet tag or furry friend tag um, for my pug Sammy and this is really funny but he follows me around all the time and like he's always in my lap, he's always snoring and everything but today he will not come near me. I don't understand it. I'm like, I'm trying to do this video about you because you're always in my videos and now he doesn't even want to be my video. So like, I don't know what to do. I might just have to move locations. So this adorable, cute guy, his name is Sammy and he is a pug. We got him, inherited him as I like to say. We got him last year um, around Christmas time. My husband's grandmother, um, unfortunately passed away from cancer and no one really had the time to handle a dog so we decided we would step up and take him and he is our first dog as uh, adults because I know how much time and like effort it takes to have a dog and I felt like we were never ready with two small kids but now that the kids are older and they can help out you know he's been like such a blessing in our life. I basically describe Sammy as a grumpy old man. <laughs> Isn't that right? Are you a grumpy old man? He likes to sleep, he likes to um, be nosy about everybody and everything that's going on in the neighborhood. Um, his favorite spot is right here. Um, by the door, if I'm moving around, this is his favorite spot. He likes to kind of sunbake and um, yell at all the neighbor kids running by or all the cars and he's yeah, just a sweetie, aren't you? But I like to say he's a grumpy old man because he really wouldn't hurt a fly. He just likes to pout. <laughs> so Sammy means a lot to me because um, when we got him last year, I had just broken my foot as well, so it was kind of, last year was very traumatic around Christmas time. I had broken my foot and we immediately bonded because he would lay right next to me and snore and like was definitely a comfort to me. Over the course of the last year, we've basically become best friends. Um, we call him Sam Sam, um, Dum Dum, which isn't very nice, um, Sam the Man, Big Boy, Fat Boy, um, Baby. Sam Sam, I call him Pup Pup because he's like an old Pup Pup, so I call him Pup Pup a lot. Um, Pup, we call him all sorts of things. We've had him for exactly one year uh, when this video is posted. Um, my daughter, my daughter has taught him how to sit. Um, he's such a good dog. He's he really is. He's such a good dog. Um, but he is stubborn. Pugs are stubborn. Pugs uh, don't listen. Um, they're very kind of set in their ways, which is also why I call him my my grumpy old man. Um, but my my daughter did teach him how to sit, so that was very cool. His favorite toy is actually this. It's kind of gross because he chews on it. <laughs> this unicorn rainbow kitty cat. Um, I know. What is it? Can I break her down for you to play with? Hmm. <laughs> He, he has actually not destroyed anything since we got him um, sort of as an older dog. Um, he was past the puppy stage and he's really good. I guess the only thing I can say he's like destroyed is he has sort of um, scratched a little bit at the door um, because when we first left him he kind of had separation anxiety. Being moved from, to a new home with new people, he was a little bit um, anxious about us leaving him. He has gotten a lot better. Um, about that and now he knows we're coming home so he's not so scared that when we leave actually he can swim which surprises a lot of people we have a boat that we go on and this summer we took him on the boat and he has a little shark life jacket Sammy loves to come on the boat with us and we call him our little pug shark because he is so cute with his little life vest he loves the boat he loves going with us places and he loves the sandbars because he can swim without like being scared he might drown. <laughs> we do not crate him. He has never um, needed to and he is a pretty good boy. He just sits here all day with me and I'm usually home and after um, he got used to us like returning and we're never gone for that long anyway so he just um, he just he's a good boy. He'll sit home and watch uh, 
Animal Planet while we're gone. I don't think there's anything negative about my pet. I would never say there's anything negative. He, it was a learning experience to be a dog owner for the first time, um, but he's amazing and I've loved having him. And um, I don't know, I wouldn't say anything negative. I love him. He does sleep with us. He sleeps right beside me, tucked right under behind my back. He's Big Spoon, I'm Little Spoon, and he snores with us all night long with his little unicorn kitty. I would like to say he loves me the most because I'm with him all the time, but if I could get a video, maybe I should try and get a video. If I could get a video of my husband coming home after being home, gone all week, he, his little tail has wags like it's never been wagged before. Like he is so excited to see my husband when he walks through that door. He gets so excited and he's never like that with me because he knows I'm always coming home and I'm always around. So. It's just like being a mom, like mom's always here, mom does everything, so we, we, we get the, you know, the worst, the worst of it. Well, we have two cats, and that was kind of a worry of ours about getting a dog because our cats have never really been around dogs, but they are, they all sleep in the bed with us, all three of them, so they all get along. I wouldn't say BFF, but they're definitely friends and family, and they love each other. You saw in my thumbnail that we do dress him up. He has a... Christmas sweater, he has a dinosaur um, hoodie, he has um, some other hoodies, and he has a Santa Claus outfit, which I just tried to put him on him, and he's got a little fat. He's got a little fat. He needs a little bit more exercise. Um, so that doesn't fit him anymore, unfortunately. So but currently, we uh, are not going to get another pet. Uh, we have two cats, and we have him, and we should, we should probably, we will probably have him for another, I don't know, depending on how long he lives, another 10 years. Um, and after that, I don't know. I, I like being a dog owner. I like having a dog, um, but they are a lot of work. And I like to travel and I don't like to count all my animals or have to ask somebody to, to watch them. So I will have to think on it. For right now, I'm just happy with what we have. And we're so blessed to have him. Aren't we, Pup? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And for the month of December, I am doing Vlogmas, which means I'll be posting every day up until Christmas. So, see you guys tomorrow.